हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल कैटो टूल्स फॉर बिगिनर्स टू एडवांस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी सम ऑफ द सेटिंग्स रिक्वायर्ड टू वर्क विथ क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट अस क्रिएट सम न्यू मॉडल हियर एंड देन वी विल सी हाउ द सेटिंग्स कैन बी सेट ओके सो अगेन कीप द ऑल द थिंग्स एज इट इज हियर एंड देन क्लिक ऑन ओके विद डिफॉल्ट टेम्पलेट so first we'll see uh, about the orientation so uh, in creo if you uh, if you uh, create a new model you can see this is a trimetric orientation is uh, set by default so you can change that because uh, we generally use uh, the isometric orientation uh, while modeling any any uh, cad model so let us go to the setting so for any settings we can go to the uh, we need to go to the file then uh, the option option here options and then here you can see the different uh, different uh, tabs having uh, like, like the model display we have different uh, settings available for entities for selections uh, for sketches we have different settings available here so now uh, for the display uh, displaying the orientation we need to go to the model display here and then uh, change the default model orientation which is set by uh, set to trimetric by default in creo so if you uh, go to the drop down we can see three options are there this is isometric trimetric and user defined so we can create a user defined orientation as well but mostly uh, we prefer to use uh, the isometric orientation so select the isometric orientation and then you can just uh, click on apply button here and then uh, just click on okay so now you know, to uh, so here uh, uh, it it will give you some warning so let's say uh, if if you want to have that uh, access system permanently uh, in our uh, system or maybe uh, for the future sessions as well then we need to save this as uh, save this configuration file so that uh, every time we open the creo uh, creo parametric uh, the uh, same settings will be used otherwise if you click on no the settings will not be saved so you can see here the user customization will be automatically saved in your pro, uh, profile directory if we save this configuration file so for now uh, we can just uh, click on uh, no and then you can see uh, uh, the uh, orientation has been changed to uh, the isometric uh, orientation so this is one setting uh, which we uh, generally use uh, before before going to uh, work on uh, creo parametric so now uh, the next setting is related to the uh, sketcher dimensions so uh, before that let's create some sketch here i will just simply uh, use the extrude here and then i will create a geometry geometry here on the sketch so now you can use this sketch view option to orient the sketching plane parallel to the screen and we have one more setting for this as well we'll see um, uh, in the uh, later part of this session so here uh, let's create one uh, rectangle here center rectangle and then just escape it so you can see the di uh, the dimensions are here right so if you hover over it you can see it's showing the sd0 is equal to 272.t1 and in the brackets you, you can see there is a weak mention so if you again uh, change it to let's say uh, 300 which is now become a user defined dimension and you can see the color has been changed to blue and now if you hover over it 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 will show you as a strong dimension so now uh, to lock such dimensions we can we can have one more setting so again go to the file then options and then here instead of model display we need to go to the sketcher here and then you see the sketcher startup is here uh, you can see the sketcher start startup and then okay so so this is one setting we can we can uh, uh, do so whenever we we uh, go to the sketcher it will automatically uh, make make it parallel to the screen so now here we have in the dimension behavior while dragging the section just click on the user locked user defined dimensions and then again we can we can select this one as well this sketcher startup make the sketching plane parallel to the screen and then click on okay and again it will ask uh, every time uh, whenever you are changing the setting it will ask to change uh, the configuration file but we are just uh, 
doing it no here so now again let's try to uh, change the dimension here and now you can see uh, the dimension has been locked now so it, uh, it's now become red and if you hover over it, it it will show you it's locked again if you try to change it now it's locked so this is one setting and now again we'll see that uh, in a demonstration so let's uh, do control d uh, to make it to the, the standard orientation and now again i will go to the sketcher here now it will not ask you uh, it, 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 there is no need to uh, select any option here uh, to make it parallel to the screen so let's do here you can see no need to use this option which is sketch you it's already uh, the sketching plane is already uh, parallel to the screen now so these are the two settings uh, for the sketcher dimensions so it's basically a, a similar to the normal view in katia uh, which we have um, normal view in katia so the sketching plane uh, makes parallel to the screen so now uh, let's uh, discuss about the settings related to the units so how to uh, set the units in uh, in, in creo uh, we'll see that so let's uh, close this just close this session and then again i will create a new here new model and then select the type as part only and here you can see uh, the solid subtype and then you can name the part here and now the only one change uh, instead of uh, using the default template just uncheck that default template and then click on ok so it will ask you uh, this uh, new file options and then here you can select the different uh, units so you can see this is inch pound inch pound the inch pound and mns uh, harness part then solid so we are uh, we are modeling a part with a solid part and then we can select this one so just uh, select this and then you can you can just uh, add the parameters here let's say i will add a b c d so it's modeled by so whatever the uh, uh, person working on the model we can we can write his name and then a description you can you can enter also maybe you can enter uh, the uh, related description here and then uh, just click on ok So now whatever the dimensions will be here are, are uh, in term, term, term in the mmm mm, mm, uh, unit. So here whatever we uh, model any any uh, any uh, CAD model here, then that can be in the mm now mm units now. So uh, let's discuss about uh, the dimensions types. So first we have dis already discussed like whenever we are creating any uh, any uh, sketcher here. Uh, or any geometry here on the in the uh, creo parametric it uh, creates a weak dimensions so let's create that so i will use the extrude here and then i will just create some rectangle just escape it and you can see here it is weak so so the weak dimension is nothing but uh, we can we can just uh, change it we can uh, this is the default uh, dimension given by proe or, or creo so if you uh, drag it you are able to drag it on any any side but let's say if you provide some uh, dimension as a strong let's say if you are providing some user defined dimension here let's provide uh, 370 now it becomes in the strong dimension right so if you hover over it you will see it is a strong dimension so now if you try to extend this so we can still able to uh, uh, we are able to uh, drag it but so this is strong dimension act as a dimension confirmed by a designer as an intentional dimension in contrast the weak dimension is proposed by the creo it is by default dimension and we, this is a user defined dimension but let's say if we are again making the setting on here let's go to the sketcher and then lock the user defined dimension and then click ok so again i will just save save now and just save it here and then let's provide the dimension as 500 so now it becomes red 
and now if I try to uh, drag this you will see you are not able to uh, drag on this side the 500 remain 500 because it is a lock dimension if you hover over it you will see it is locked so in the other direction you can you can change you can drag the dimension based on the user so this is the dimension part in uh, creo and we have already covered the settings which is required before going to start working on the creo parametric so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much